maybe you are faithful to church, but don't let this pass you by because, you know, you ought not to be coming in, you know, one minute after it starts and then leaving like one minute before it ends. You're still missing part of what church is all about. You may be singing the songs. You may be hearing from the word of God. But the, the gathering together of believers is, is also for the purpose of considering each other and helping each other and having a mind within you that thinks, how can I esteem other better than myself? How can I help other people out, help them to succeed? Like John the Baptist esteemed Jesus Christ better than himself. He says, he must increase, but I must de decrease. We need to have that heart and that mind and that attitude that cares about other people. And when you can get that mind in you, that will help to keep you sustained over the years. That'll help keep you coming to church. That'll help you going out soul winning, caring about lost people, preaching the gospel unto them. Because you're more concerned about other people than just yourself. When you start caring about the riches and the cares of this world, and you become real covetous. What are you thinking about? Me. How can I make my life easier? What toys can I get? How much fun can I go out and have? The Bible teaches the exact opposite. It's not about you. It's about everybody else. It's about other people. Considering one another provoke unto love and the good works. And just remember this also. On the days that you might be thinking about just skipping church because it's just simply too inconvenient for you. I've got too much stuff going on. Not only will you not be provoked unto love and good works from other people, but what about that person that may be having a hard time that's a good friend of yours that could really use your help that Wednesday night or that Sunday night and you're not there? Or what about that message that maybe God really wanted you to hear? That portion of scripture you know, I know you guys have been going through um, First Chronicles, right? <laughs> it could be a very good reason for people to say, oh man, I don't even like reading First Chronicles, let alone sitting through an hour of preaching on First Chronicles. But you don't know what's going what's gonna to be preached there. You don't know who's going to be in service that night. You don't know what God might have for you when, when his people are congregated together. It's, it's interesting how it works out. Again, over the years, you start to notice this, too. That, that you'll hear sermons preached sometimes, and you're thinking, like, you know, and, and don't, get, don't get too much of this attitude of just, like, applying sermons to everyone else, right? We should be applying it to ourselves. But there's some things that, that may be obvious with people that, you know, they're struggling with a certain an area, and it's like, that topic is hit, and they're not there. And it's the one thing that they probably needed to hear more than anything else. And they're not there. You don't want to be that person. I mean, hopefully, hopefully your heart is right, first of all, where you want to hear the areas that you need to improve on. You want to know, how can I please the Lord more? How can I serve God better? What things are, are in my life that shouldn't be there? I want to hear about that. And you definitely, if you have that attitude, you definitely don't want to miss the time when it would apply directly to you. Especially just because, well, I just didn't feel it like going, oh, I overslept. Oh, I, you know, I had other plans. My dinner ran late. 